Hello guys. Um, in this lecture, uh, I will be talking about CK algorithm, and in the other lecture, I will be talking about early parse algorithm. So these two algorithms are dynamic programming parsing methods for the top-down and the bottom-up parsing. Uh, <coughs> parsing is important to uh, uh, understand the structure of the constant loops. So a parsing is nothing but what we do is we uh, uh, expand the constitutes recursively until we cannot, right? And that would give us uh, a parse tree which will represent the syntactic structure of a sentence. Now, CKY, which uh, is named after the three scientists, they, they propose this model algorithm based on a bottom up parsing. And the one of the constraints of the CKY algorithm is that it works with the Chomsky normal form uh, grammar only. So if the grammar is not in a Chomsky normal form, it will not, it not, it will, it won't work. And the CKY parsing algorithm is a uh, widely used algorithm in computational linguistic that is used to parse sentences and generate syntactic structure for them. The algorithm works by generating a table uh, for, of a possible constitute for each sub string of the sentence and then combining this constitute to form larger constitute until a complete parse tree is generated. It's a bottom-up parsing algorithm. So let's move forward. So first of all, the task is to convert the uh, algorithm into a Chomsky normal form algorithm. How do we do that? It's very simple. You would have this in three. Uh, for example, at the right-hand side, if you have three non-terminals, what you have to do is you would have to divide it into such that you only have should have two non-terminals on the right hand side so rules that mix terminals with non-terminals on the right hand side rules that have a single non-terminal on the right hand side rules in which the length of the right hand side is greater than two number one rule is where you would have mix non-terminal and terminal at one so I don't have any example over here such, but if you have such example where you have terminal and non-terminal at once mix, obviously you have to divide it. You have to divide the, uh, the, the, that in a different way. So let's see this. You can just make a rule for this, let's say x1 or x whatever you want to make it. And there you can just add x like this. You can also make a rule for this. It's always better to start with the left hand side. But though it works with the both, okay. It's always better to start from here and let this here because if you start from here or here, it doesn't matter, okay. It's, it's your choice. So if you have three, you can divide it like this. But uh, yeah, what about if you have one? One does not work, okay? So for example, this S is word phrase. Now, if you have just one, as you can see, you have single non-terminal on the right hand side. Then what you have to do is you have to replace it with whatever you're gonna have. So for example, S is supposed to be verb, but verb cannot be alone. So we can say S to book include and prefer this is how you can convert it second one you can say s is to uh, word phrase verb and noun phrase then third you can say s is to word phrase and pp remember these are the additional rules we have generated the rules that we were having there is already there we have not removed it this is the additional rules that we have generated now let's see if we have more this proper noun, non phrase proper noun. This should not be like this. So noun phrase proper noun. Let's say if we have any rule for proper noun. We do. So just say this. Determinant nominal is fine. Nominal noun. Noun is supposed to be directly this. And I hope you get an idea. How do you divide with the next one? Two of them. So there can be three cases. We have seen two of them. The first one and the second one. Actually, the second and third one. How do you see the first one? Simple. Divide it. Yeah, divide it. Okay. So, how do you 
how CKY parser works. So let's say you have a sentence, a book that flies through hosting, and your target is to apply a CKY parser on that. You have this grammar, this grammar. This is the grammar and uh, lexicon both where you have terminals and non-terminals. So how do we apply this? The first task is to have this book the flight through hosting. This is the zero to one word. This is from one to two. These are the positions of that that you have to add. And for each position, you would have a single grid. So zero to one book, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. Now four to five means this complete sentence. So we need this whole grids over here. From book to through, we need this. This, this covers this sentence. Actually, this one. All right, and the book D would cover this one. So book D would cover these two grids, right? These two. So that's how you can do this. Now let's just start with the first step. The first step is the start symbol. You have to start expanding from a start symbol. So start symbol is to noun phrase and verb phrase. So these are the rules actually. You have book. Now book is what? Remember, CKY is a bottom up parsing algorithm. It's not a top down parsing algorithm. Let me just confirm this fact. It is. It is a bottom of parsing. So we start with the word. So what, what is the word book? Book is a verb. So we write verb here. Right? Now verb is what? Okay. Let's find out. Also, book is noun, okay? So you, you write noun as well. Now, noun, you have noun and you have verb. Now, this verb, as you can see over here, is this verb phrase. So you write verb phrase. This noun is here, and you have nominal, so we write nominal. This verb is here, you write s. So it doesn't matter if the verb occurs here or here. If you have verb, you just write it down. <coughs> now, similarly, the word d. Now these are determinant. You write it down. Flight through hosting. You write this all in the same way, like I just explained. Now after that, what are you gonna do? How do you find out these empty boxes? So that's the target. How do I find this this box? Now this box means I have to read this whole sentence. I can read this in two ways. I can say book the and flight. And I can say book. Okay, let me see. Uh, I can read as I said in two ways. Other way can be like 
book the flight so there can be two ways you can read this now if i say only book and i say if i if i'm like working with this red one i will use different color over here okay let me use the red one if i'm working with this red one grouping i would need to see this book which is s and in the second one i need to see the flight now the flight is what remember only the flight not book So it means I would not consider the book in that case. Okay, so D flight is this box. So we are finding out this one. So this is only for the word D. So let me show you again. So this is zero to two. So zero to two means this. And if I'm saying D flight, this means this. So D flight, rem remember, is this area that we are looking for. And book is this area that we are looking for. So in this area, just D flight would be that one because this area is called one three now one to three means this is one this is three so this is okay just forget me about this okay this is like one two because this is basically uh, this box one three and you can combine these two uh, together so so basically this one and this one to form this this box area as you can see it will give you a noun phrase and similarly if we give you all of this and you can do all of this together and you would get this whole thing now remember whenever you are doing that here at the if you get the s over here then it means you have syntactically correct the generated the uh, tree now this s is coming from where you need to note this down this s is coming from p this pp is coming from this this and as well as this s is coming from this this one is so this will create your tree this is the tree you have <coughs> now complexity of a cky algorithm is o n squared Per cell so there are o n cube total complexity so previously analysis assumed the number of sparse labels in each cell is fixed by the size of the grammar inch computers are all you can just skip this so there is this problem that just produce all possible parse trees so it can produce more than one parse trees Right, it can produce multiple parse trees. It's not important that it only produce one parse tree. For example, here you can produce one parse tree from this S, you can produce one parse tree from this S. There is ambiguity. So it does not address this ambiguity issue. That is one of the problems with the Chomsky normal form. And we deal with this Chomsky normal form problem with the early algorithm. Okay. So in conclusion, 
context-free grammar can be used to define the grammar of a natural language. Then program will allow to compute the single pass shift. Yeah. So I hope you understand. Um, I will create another video on early parsing.